Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for 21st of Feb. The session will be quite interesting. So do pay attention till the end. Let's start. The first question is foundation stone for Ames Rewadi was laid in. So indirectly, the question asked is where is this aim Rewadi located? So Rewadi is in Haryana. Correct. So Ames Rewadi is in Haryana. Correct. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was on a visit to Haryana and Rajasthan and during his visit to Haryana only he laid the foundation stone of Ames Rivadi in Haryana that will be built for 1650 crore rupees this is the budget for Ames Haryana right take a note of this apart from this also remember he also virtually inaugurated Jyotisar Anubhav Kendra. I repeat, Jyotisar Anubhav Kendra. This is a museum that will be in Kurukshetra. And Kurukshetra is also in Haryana. This museum will be built with a cost of 240 crore rupees. So remember two things Ames Rivadi will be coming up in Haryana and a Jyotisar Anubhav Kendra that is a museum that will be in Kurukshetra. Right? Then next thing, remember, he inaugurated the very weighted Gurugram Metro Rail. Gurugram Metro Rail also. And this will be built with a cost of 5,500, 5, 
5450 करोड़ रुपीस एंड दिस विल बी कनेक्टिंग योर ओल्ड गुड़गांव टू द न्यू गुड़गांव सो दीज आर सम प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर फॉर हरियाणा करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट रिमेंबर ही आल्सो विजिटेड राजस्थान राइट सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट राजस्थान पीएम नरेंद्र मोदी अटेंडेड द विकसित भारत विकसित राजस्थान प्रोग्राम एंड ड्यूरिंग विच ही अनवेल्ड प्रोजेक्ट्स वर्थ सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज दीज प्रोजेक्ट इंक्लूड हाईवे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रेलवे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पावर ट्रांसमिशन जल जीवन मिशन इन राजस्थान एंड सो ऑन देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट हरियाणा हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर हेयर मनोहर लाल खट्टर वॉट इज द कैपिटल चंडीगढ़ राइट एंड फॉर राजस्थान वॉट इज द हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर हेयर भजन लाल शर्मा and who is the governor here kalraj mishra and for haryana who is the governor bandaru dattaraya correct and what is the capital of rajasthan it is jaipur right so these are the things that you need to remember moving on which ministry collaborated with undp to organize national workshop on urban livelihoods if we talk about undp united nation development program headquarter of this is in new york so recently undp partnered with which ministry we are talking about right so which ministry it is ministry of housing and urban affairs correct ministry of housing and urban affairs collaborated with undp to organize a two day long workshop on urban livelihood this will be on 15th and 16th of feb and the location becomes important for this workshop this will be in ranchi jharkhand this will be in ranchi jharkhand and the aim of this workshop is basically to explore emerging trends and new opportunities that are emerging in urban livelihoods correct so that the people in those areas can get trained and also apply for the jobs right take a note of this here you can see deen dayal antyodhya yojana national urban livelihood mission comes under the ministry of housing and urban affairs which have collaborated with undp to organize a two day long national workshop on urban livelihoods from 15th and 16th of feb in ranchi jharkhand right and this workshop will be witnessing more than 150 delegates across india and here we will be talking about multiple job opportunities multiple skills that will be coming into use and what are the trends that the world is following or india is following in terms of job market correct next next is how many commemorative coins were recently unveiled by finance minister nirmala sitaraman at the 19th foundation day of spm cil S P M C I L. Now, what is this S P M C I L? First of all, it is Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India Limited. I repeat, Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India Limited. Correct. So, how many commemorative coins were recently unveiled by Nirmala Sitaraman at the 19th Foundation Day of S P M C I L? So, a total of three coins were unveiled. If we look at these coins here, you can see these are the three coins we are talking about, right? And it is a gold-colored souvenir coin of endangered animal of India, the Great One Horned Rhinoceros. Here you can see. Second is a bimetallic clad souvenir coin on the alignment of Buddha, right? Here you can see. And third is Sri Ram Janam Bhumi Mandir Ayodhya, correct? Here you can see the. So these are the three commemorative coins that were recently. launched by nirmala sitaraman on the 19th foundation day of security printing and minting corporation of india limited right take a note of this next thing you can remember that these three coins were launched by the government mint that is in kolkata in west bengal next next is government has increased the authorized capital of fci 2 dash so government recently increased the fci capital to how much amount to 21000 crore rupees fci is your food corporation of india right the amount of money 
दैट फूड कॉरपोरेशन स्पेंट ऑन द फूड कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया वॉज अर्लियर टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज एंड नाउ इट हैज बिन इंक्रीज टू ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज राइट एंड वेयर दिस कैश विल बी यूज बेसिकली इट इज टू इंक्रीज द ऑथराइज कैपिटल दिस विल रिड्यूस द इंटरेस्ट बर्डन दिस विल डिक्रीज द इकोनॉमिक कॉस्ट एंड दिस विल प्रोवाइड वेरियस न्यू फैसिलिटीज न्यू स्टोरेज फैसिलिटीज न्यू इंक्रीज सैलरी टू द वर्कर्स देयर राइट न्यू न्यू इन वर्कशॉप्स और यू कैन से न्यू वेयर हाउसेज फैसिलिटीज कैन बी सेटअप विद दिस एंड द प्रोड्यूस दैट इज प्रोड्यूस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर इट न्यू फैसिलिटीज टू स्टोर दोज प्रोड्यूस विल ऑल्सो बी बिल्ड अंडर दिस सो द अथराइज कैपिटल ऑफ फूड कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया वॉज टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज एंड नाउ इट हैज बिन इंक्रीज टू ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज If we talk about Food Corporation of India, who is the chairman and managing director here? Ashok K. K. Meena. Where is the headquarter? It is in New Delhi, and it was established in nineteen sixty-five. Next, Department of Fisheries joined hand with which organization to promote digital marketing of fishes? Right, it is a O N D C. Right. ONDC partnered with Department of Fisheries and this was basically to promote the digital marketing of fishes or we can say as we know ONDC is a platform where online products are sold right and even one of the authorized uh, pay seller here is Paytm on Paytm application you can go to the ONDC section and you can access that platform ONDC that is your open network for digital commerce the aim here is to help fishermen fish farmers right entrepreneurs correct fishery sectors to buy and sell their product through e marketplace that means now the fishes you can buy those fishes through online now right through these marketplace that will make it easy for these organization these entrepreneurs these businessmen to sell their product and for the consumer it will become easy to buy these products right so department of fisheries partnered with whom they partnered with this ON DC open network for digital commerce next next is IREDA they sign a memorandum of understanding with which bank to promote renewable energy initiatives I R E D A what is this I R E D A I R E D A is Indian Renewable Energy Develop uh, Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency they have partnered with Punjab National Bank right they partnered with Punjab National Bank and they will be promoting financing in the renewable energy sectors right in renewable energy projects more and more funding will be included and this funding will be channeled through punjab national bank this punjab national bank will be providing loans subsidized loans to various organizations and this is in line with to achieve india's effort to achieve 500 gigawatt of renewable energy generation by 2030 this is the target that is set by government of india that is 500 gigawatt to achieve 2030 kilowatts of uh, 2030 gigawatts of renewable energy if we if i talk to you about solar rooftop scheme right we know that recently in delhi as well as the government of india they have launched a solar rooftop scheme where they will be providing subsidized electricity to these people who are having solar panels on their rooftop even free electricity will be provided to them under this if i ask you which is the best state in india that is performing in terms of solar rooftop energy it is gujarat right gujarat is the state that is performing the best in terms of solar rooftop energy and which is the first state in india that achieved 10 gigawatt of renewable energy or renewable solar energy it is rajasthan right next so irda and pnb signed mou to promote renewable energy initiatives next which organization received payment aggregator license from rbi it is m swipe tech right rbi granted payment aggregator license to mumbai maharashtra based this is mumbai maharashtra based company m swipe technologies and m swipe received this payment in principle approval from rbi to operate as a payment aggregator in 2022 now what is a payment aggregator payment aggregator is basically it gets the right to 
कलेक्ट मनी फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज आई ई पी एफ ए दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद विच बैंक फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट अवेयरनेस एंड फ्रॉडलैंड स्कीम्स वॉट इज आई ई पी एफ ए इन्वेस्ट इन्वेस्टर एजुकेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन फंड अथॉरिटी आई रिपीट इन्वेस्टर एजुकेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन फंड अथॉरिटी करेक्ट आई ई पी एफ ए दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद विच बैंक दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद सिंगापुर बेस्ड बैंक दैट इज डी बी एस बैंक एंड दिस एम ओ यू साइन बिटवीन दैम टू स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड फ्रॉडलैंड स्कीम्स राइट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस देन अंडर दिस एम ओ यू डी बी एस बैंक विल बी सपोर्टिंग आई ई पी एफ एज इन्वेस्टर अवेयरनेस एक्टिविटीज बाय सेफ्टी मैसेजेस वाई आर वेरियस डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स राइट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट आई ई पी एफ ए दिस वॉज सेटअप इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स फॉर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिंग द इन्वेस्टर एजुकेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन फंड फॉर मेकिंग रिफंड ऑफ शेयर्स अनक्लेम डिविडेंड्स मेच्योर डिपॉजिट्स डिबेंचर्स एंड वेरियस अमंग इन्वेस्टर्स मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज अवार्ड्स एंड रिकग्निशन एम पी ए ऑनर्ड विनर्स ऑफ सिक्सटींथ नेशनल यूथ पार्लियामेंट कॉम्पिटिशन फॉर यूनिवर्सिटीज सो रे मेंबर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स दे हैव ऑनर्ड विनर्स ऑफ द सिक्सटींथ नेशनल यूथ पार्लियामेंट्री कॉम्पिटिशन फॉर यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड कॉलेजेस फॉर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ड्यूरिंग द प्राइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सेरेमनी हेल्ड एंड द पार्लियामेंट हाउस कॉम्प्लेक्स इन न्यू डेली द अवार्ड्स वर प्रजेंटेड बाई अर्जुन राम मेघवाल राइट next thing remember the students of the central university of punjab received the running shield and the trophy for standing first at the national level right i repeat you need to remember this only that the students of the central university of punjab that is in bhatinda punjab they have received the running shield and trophy for the standing first at the national level correct mark this take a note of it then remember if we talk about the youth parliament competition for universities that this national youth parliament competition right this have been organized by the ministry of parliamentary affairs for the past 27 years and this was the 16th edition of the competition was organized among 36 universities and institutions across india this youth parliament scheme aims to make the young generation acquainted with practices and the procedures of parliament techniques of discussion debate leadership qualities and much more right so for that recently university a uh, central university of punjab that is in bhatinda punjab received the running shield and a trophy for standing first at the national level in the 16th edition of the national youth parliamentary parliament competition for universities and college in 2019 20 moving on next who has been named the winner of the 58th gyan peet award 58th gyan peet award so who was honored with the 58th gyan peet award urdu poet gulzar and sanskrit scholar jagat guru swami ram bhadracharya they both were recently honored with 58th edition of the gyan peet award right i repeat here you can let me show you their pictures guljar and swami ram bhadracharya they both were honored with the gyanpeet award if we talk about guljar ji remember legendary indian poet and lyricist sampuran singh kalra popularly known as guljar and indian spiritual leader and scholar jadguru ram bhadracharya for sanskrit they were honored with gyanpeet award so who was honored in sanskrit language jagat guru ram bhadracharya and in urdu language will be guljar ji that is sampuran singh karla you have to remember both the names either sometimes it will be given guljar to you or sometimes it will be given sampuran singh kalra right take a note of this and remember the award is given for the second time for sanskrit language and for the fifth time in the urdu language that is your gyanpeet award and this is the 58th edition of the gyanpeet award that is being recently given now correct so take a note of it apart from this remember 
इफ वी टॉक अबाउट गुलजार जी ही वॉज ऑनर्ड विद पदमा भूषण इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट्स इन टू थाउजेंड फोर दैन ही वॉज ऑनर्ड विद दादा साहेब फालके अवार्ड इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन राइट ही ऑल्सो रिसीव्ड साहित्य अकेडमी अवार्ड इन टू थाउजेंड टू फॉर द उर्दू लैंग्वेज दैन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट जगत गुरु रामभद्राचार्य ही वॉज ऑनर्ड विद पदमा विभूषण इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन राइट फॉर लिटरेचर एंड एजुकेशन मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट एंड हे यू कैन सी ज्ञानपीठ अवार्ड ज्ञानपीठ अवार्ड इज द इंडिया हाइएस्ट लिटरेरी ऑनर एंड इट इज प्रेजेंटेड एनुअली बाय भारतीय ज्ञानपीठ सिंस नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव द अवार्ड रिकॉगनाइज द आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स लिटरेचर इन इंग्लिश एंड अदर इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस एंड दिस टाइम संस्कृत स्कॉलर एंड उर्दू स्कॉलर वॉज ऑनर्ड विद द ज्ञानपीठ अवार्ड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज अपॉइंटमेंट्स एंड रेजिग्नेशन Recently, Ilham Aliyev has been re-elected as the president of Azerbaijan for the fifth term. Take a note of this. Here you can see Azerbaijan's Aliyev win fifth presidential term in no suspense election. Correct. Just remember who has been re-elected as the president of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev. Next is Ashish Vijaykar has been appointed as the MD and CEO of SBM Bank India. Here you can see. Vijay Ashish Vijaykar, right? He has been appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of SBM Bank India, and he will be in this position for three years with effect from seventeenth of Feb, twenty twenty four. He will succeed Siddharth Rath, who resigned from the post of MD and CEO of SBM Bank India in November twenty twenty three. Moving on, if we talk about SBM India, who is the Where is the headquarter of this? It is in Mumbai, Maharashtra, and it was established in two thousand eighteen. Next, remember related to sports, Bangalore Open tennis was held, and India's Saket Mayani and Ram Kumar Ramanathan has won the double title. So, in the Bangalore Open, in the Bangalore Open, this is related to which sport? This is related to tennis, right? Here, Indian tennis player. That is Saket Mayani and Ram Kumar Ramanathan. They have won the doubles title here. Correct. Take a note of this. If we talk about men's single title, so Stefano Napolitano of Italy has won the men's single title here. And also remember, it marks Stefano's first association of tennis professional. That is ATP Challenger title since two thousand sixteen. Right. Next, next is obituary. Recently, renowned Indian chef and Padma Shri awardee Imtiaz Qureshi recently passed away. As you can see him in the picture, Muhammad Imtiaz Qureshi, a renowned Indian chef and Padma Shri awardee, passed away at the age of ninety-three in Mumbai, Maharashtra. He was born on second Feb nineteen thirty-one in Lucknow, UP. And Imtiaz Qureshi was conferred with Padma Shri for his significant contribution to the culinary. arts and he was the first professional chef to be honored with padma shri award so question will be asked in such a way that who was the first professional chef to be honored with padma shri award so right option becomes imtiaz qureshi next is important days world day of social justice it is observed on 20th of feb UN World Day of Social Justice and it is annually observed across the globe on 20th of Feb to raise awareness about the need for social justice particularly in areas such as poverty eradication employment gender equality and access to education healthcare and social services then there is a theme that you need to remember for the same is global coalition for social justice bringing gaps building alliances this is the theme for the World Day of Social Justice observed on 20th of Feb Next is your state news. Recently, Sikkim's chief minister has launched Sikkim Inspires, that is a World Bank assisted program for economic empowerment of women and youth. I repeat, Sikkim chief minister Prem Singh Tamang has launched Sikkim Inspires, that Inspire stands for, and you need to remember the full form here of Inspire, that is Integrated Service Provision and Innovation for Revising Economics. Here, Sikkim Inspire, right? This is a World Bank assisted program under the Planning and Development Department of the Government of Sikkim and question will be asked that this Sikkim Inspires program was supported by or assisted by which organization it was helped by or assisted by World Bank Correct 
take a note of this highly important correct then this is the first ever direct partnership between the government of sikkim and west bengal and remember india is funding 90% of the loan and the state government is providing just 10% of the loan over the next 5 years for this sikkim inspires project right then apart from this there is a swasth man sikkim mobile application this application was launched for the wellbeing and awareness or basically to strengthen the mental health of the people of sikkim that is swasth man sikkim mobile application right and just remember for sikkim inspires program the government of sikkim is being helped by west bank or world bank so we can say government of sikkim and world bank they partnered for the sikkim inspires program and you need to remember the full form integrated service provision and innovation for revising economies if we talk about world bank who is the president of world bank ajay banga and he became the first indian to head this position then headquarters is in washington dc and it was established in 1944 so friends these were your important current affairs for the day now let's go for a quick one liner revision pm modi's visit to haryana and rajasthan on feb we have seen and aims rewardi was inaugurated and a museum in kurukshetra was uh, recently inaugurated in haryana then ministry of housing and urban affairs and undp collaborated to organize national workshop on urban livelihoods then finance minister nirmala sitaraman has unveiled three commemorative coins during the 19th foundation day celebration of spmcil government of india increased the authorized capital of fci to 21000 crore rupees that was earlier 10000 crore rupees then department of fisheries and ondc has joined hands to promote digital marketing of fishes IRDA and PNB they signed an MOU to promote renewable energy initiatives. M Swipe Technologies received payment aggregator license from RBI. IEPFA partnered with DBS Bank for investment awareness. MPA honored winners of the 16th National Youth Parliament competition for universities and college and this was the 16th edition. Next Urdu poet Gulzar and Sanskrit scholar Jad Guru Swami Ram Bhadracharya has been named the winners of the 58th Gyanpeet award he was named in Sanskrit and Gulzar ji was named in Urdu right then Ilham Aliyev he has been reelected as the president of Azerbaijan for fifth term Ashish Vijaykar appointed as the MD and CEO of SBM Bank India then Bangalore Open Tennis that is India's Saket Meyani and Ram Kumar Ramanathan has won the doubles title during this Bangalore Open Tennis. Then renowned Indian chef and Padma Shri awardee recently passed away, and he became the first chef of India to be honored with Padma Shri award. Then World Day of Social Justice was honored uh, observed on twentieth of Feb, and Sikkim's Chief Minister or we can say Government of Sikkim they partnered with World Bank to launch this Sikkim Inspires. program right this is a world bank assisted program for economic empowerment and women youth so these were your important current affairs for the day friends now let's move to some revision current affairs that will be beneficial for your learning next is indian air force concluded an exercise vayu shakti in which state so recently vayu shakti was held this is the name of the exercise that was held where it was held in pokhran rajasthan right in pokhran Rajasthan we saw this vayu shakti exercise this was conducted by indian air force correct it was held on 17th of feb in pokhran in rajasthan right then there was a theme that you can remember or that you should remember for this vayu shakti exercise the theme being lightning strike from the sky i repeat lightning strike from the sky this is the theme for vayu shakti 2024 important take a note of this right moving on remember the last edition of this exercise was held in 2019 and now this time in 2024 this was held in pokhran rajasthan right and this vayu shakti this exercise is held once every 3 years 
This exercise is held once every three years. Next is sports. Badminton Asian Team Championship 2024 was held and Indian women's team has won the title for the first time. I repeat, Indian women badminton team led by P. Venkata Sindhu, that is P.V. Sindhu, has won gold at the Badminton Asia Team Championship 2024 that was held in Malaysia. They defeated uh, Malaysia, uh, they defeated Thailand in the finals to win this. And this marks the first ever podium finish of the Indian women's team and also the first ever gold for India at the Badminton Asia Team Championship. Important, right? So Indian women's team, Indian women's badminton team has won gold for India. Then remember for this BATC, that is Badminton Asia Team Championship, this was the fifth edition of the Biennial Championship. This was held from 13th to 18th of Feb in Malaysia. Remember, location is important. Where was this held? In Malaysia. And Indian women's badminton team led by PV Sindhu has won gold medal here. Next. Next is important is World Pangolin Day. As you can see in the picture, this day is observed on 17th of Feb. And it is to celebrate and raise awareness about the pangolin or scaly anteater. You can see, right? This is pangolin. Correct. Also known as scaly anteater. Correct. And... This eats ants, so that is known as scaly anteater. Also, remember it is one of the most unique mammals on earth and their plight. Correct, so World Pangolian Day it falls on 17th of Feb, and this day marks the observance of the 13th edition of the Pangolin Day. The 12th World Pangolin Day was observed on 18th of Feb, and 14th of World Pangolin Day will be observed on 15th of Feb. Why? Because this World Pangolin Day it generally falls on the third Saturday of February month and this year in 2023 this was on 17th of Feb take a note of this correct next next is your state news Karnataka's chief minister Siddharamaya has launched Asha Kirai Kirana Eye Care Scheme I repeat chief minister of Karnataka Siddharamaya they have launched Asha Kirana Eye Care Scheme correct this Asha Kirana Eye Care at your doorstep. This is a scheme to offer free eye care services to the families across Karnataka during an event that was held in Haveri, Karnataka. The scheme launched by the Department of Health and Family Welfare under the Government of Karnataka falls under the National Program for Control of Blindness and Visual Impairment. And as the name suggests, Asha Kirana. This is an eye care tree scheme that is eye care at your doorstep scheme launched by the Chief Minister of Karnataka. India along with which country signed an MOU for employment of Indian workers. In order to provide employment to the Indian workers, which country has recently signed an MOU with India? It is Taiwan, right? Government of India and Government of Taiwan, they recently signed an MOU where job opportunities, employment will be provided to Indian workers in Taiwan. And this MOU aims to strengthen the bilateral labor cooperation between India and Taiwan. Also remember, even in Ukraine, for the construction work, there was a news recently that many individuals from Haryana state were going to Ukraine where there is a war going on for the infrastructure development there, right? Because they need to, because of the bombing and various other reasons, the infrastructure in Ukraine has been damaged. And in order to develop the infrastructure there, Ukraine is hiring laborers. And many of the laborers, Indian people from Haryana, were opting to go to Ukraine because there was no job opportunity in Haryana. And they feel like going to Ukraine is a much better option than staying in Haryana itself. Correct. And now it is Taiwan that will be providing job opportunity employment to the Indian workers there which space organization launched a meteorological satellite that is inset 3ds so this meteorological satellite was launched by our space organization that is isro right they have launched this mission inset 3ds this is also known as gslv f14 inset 3ds this is the name of the satellite and this is the name of the rocket which carried this inset satellite into space, right? GSLV, GSLV F14, name of the rocket that was used to carry this inset 3DS satellite into space. This was launched from Satish Dhawan Space 
सेंटर दैट इज इन श्रीहरिकोटा कोटा आंध्र प्रदेश नेक्स्ट विच बैंक सेलिब्रेटेड एटी नाइन्थ बिजनेस कमेंसमेंट डे सो इट इज बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र राइट दे हैव रिसेंटली सेलिब्रेटेड द एटी नाइन्थ बिजनेस ऑफ कमेंसमेंट डे एज अ महापरिवर्तन दिवस टू पॉइंट ओ दिस वॉज ऑब्जर्व इन पुणे महाराष्ट्र एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस एटी नाइन्थ बिजनेस कमेंसमेंट डे ओनली रिमेंबर बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र दे हैव लॉन्च एटी नाइन न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स राइट दे हैव लॉन्च एटी नाइन न्यू डिजिटल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेस लॉन्च बाय बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र फॉर देयर कस्टमर्स करेक्ट नेक्स्ट If we talk about Bank of Maharashtra, who is the managing director and chief executive officer of Bank of Maharashtra, E S Rajiv. Where is the headquarter? It is in Pune, Maharashtra. Right. Next, which organization launched Digital Nari platform for rural and semi-urban women? So, Digital Nari platform. This was launched for a Mumbai, Maharashtra based company that is Pay Nearby. right they have launched this or pay nearby they have launched this digital nari platform for rural and semi urban women and this will help them to generate sustainable employment for women correct this is also in line with lakpati didi what is this lakpati didi initiative under this lakpati didi initiative the aim is to generate 1 lakh of or 1 lakh rupees of income annually to these women's right and this lakpati initiative that this was launched in 2023 what was the theme of un world soil day observed across the globe on 5th of december so first thing remember world soil day un world soil day observed on 5th of december question asked to you is what is the theme of this world soil day so the theme being soil and water a source of life option Three is right. Soil and water, a source of life. This is the theme for the UN World Soil Day. Correct. And this day is observed basically to create the awareness about the health of soil. Because if the health is good, then the produce that we will be getting out of it will be healthy. Right. More produce we will be getting. The quantity will also increase. Even the quality will increase. But if the soil health is poor, then we will be getting less produce out of it. Moving on, the UN Conference on Trade and Development E Week 2023 is being observed from Dash with the theme of shaping the future of digital economy. Right? Question asked is, this UN Conference on Trade and Development E Week is being observed from Dash to Dash. So this E Week is being observed from fourth to eighth of December. Right? From fourth to eighth of December. Correct. This is an E Week UN City AD E Week. and the theme here for this un city ad e week is shaping the future of the digital economy next when was un international civil aviation day observed across the globe with the theme advancing innovation for global aviation development i repeat what is the theme or when was the international civil aviation day observed so this international civil aviation day was observed on 7th of december and if the theme is being asked to you what is theme advancing innovation for global aviation development next when was armed forces flag day observed across india so armed force flag day was observed from on 7th of december right i repeat armed forces flag day was observed across india correct when on 7th of december first ever armed force flag day was observed on 7th of december in 1949 right next on which date next is on which date un international day of commemoration and dignity of the victims of the crime of genocide and the prevention of the crime is observed across the globe in 2023 so it is on 9th of december correct and remember this 9th of december in or we can say this year 2023 this marks the 75th anniversary of the adopting of the genocide convention of the genocide convention 
this genocide convention remember this genocide convention is the first human rights treaty adopted by united nation general assembly correct and if we talk about this day that a un international day of commemoration and dignity of the victims of crime of genocide and the prevention of the crime this day was observed for the first time in 2015 next is our homework section first melghat tiger reserve recently seen in news is in which state second recently nasa and which country space agency joined to launch the world's first wooden satellite for third Somin Sai festival recently seen in news is associated with which country fourth where was the first child friendly police station inaugurated fifth recently which country's parliament has passed the quad bill to enhance cooperation so these are your five homework question friends and i need to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video if you find the session interesting all you have to do is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. 